I have a confession. I've been dealing with depression or the proper name, major depressive disorder for more than a decade. People look at me and say, what the hell you got to be sad for? You got the job you wished for. You got a husband who you adore, a child who is beautiful. Your pockets stay full. Your family loves you. What do you have to be sad about? But the thing is, I'm not sad. I'm just tired. <laughs> My limbs are so heavy every morning that the concept of getting ready for anything that happens before noon feels like doom, feels like a setup, feels like I got to get up and rush when everybody else just brings up. I wish I was a morning person, but I've never been. And depression got my limbs feeling so heavy, like I'm drowning and I can't swim. But I keep going. I keep taking my meds. I don't give a fuck about anyone who says that they're a trap or I should just change my diet. I eat healthier than most people I know. So that advice, just stay quiet. I know I sound defensive, but right now I'm just pensive. Laying in the bed, as heavy as my head, and so are my eyelids, and so are my breasts. Still got a drain hanging out my chest. I got my left implant put back in. Shout out to my left titty. When my breast reconstruction's done, man, it's gonna be so litty. Y'all about to be sick of me. Thank God that I ain't sick. Thank God I beat cancer. Thank God I am that bitch. <laughs> yeah, I got confidence, but trust me that I've earned it. I went years without loving myself. I wish I could return it. I wish I could go back and look in the mirror, tell that little girl she's the most special in the world. Last week, I found some childhood photos. They brought tears to my eyes because looking at my little face caught me by surprise. I look like one of my nieces. She is so beautiful. Back then, I had no idea I was beautiful. Yeah, I just rhymed beautiful with beautiful, but Nikki rhymed foot with foot, so... <laughs> I guess that makes me even, and this don't got no hook. But I ain't no rapper. I'm just a poet. I'm just an artist, and I know it. Jack of all trades, I seem. But I'm the master of only caring for myself, prioritizing my health, my wellness over anything, over anyone else, except for God, but I don't consider they a person. They live inside of me. I consider myself a version. Some may consider that blasphemy. And really, I don't care because I look in my eyes and I see spirit there. I hear God in my ears. I see God in the sky. Every time I look up, I see two birds fly. Birds chirping outside my window. Cats running in my yard. It's so hard to not recognize God. I mean, think about all the times you beat the odds. I know I've beat the odds. I'm a cat with nine lives. Y'all have no idea how many times I should have died. One time I was on I-95, morning rush hour, went from right lane to the side of the left fast lane, landed in a ditch. All I saw was white lights. All I screamed was shit, <laughs> but no one got hit. It was like final destination. That's how I know that this is my station to follow my dreams, to share my voice. Even when it's scary, I feel like I have no choice, but I love it. It feels like part of me. It feels like I'm achieving my destiny. I'm appreciating the part of me that's unique. And to think I was part of groupthink, following instead of leading. But now there's no way that I'm receding. I know who I am. I see God in her and I love her. Shout out to Ntozaki Shange. For me, she's like a mother. For colored girls who have considered suicide is a play that inspires me to write. I told her when I met her and she nodded. I could have cried. Man, I was so sad when I found out she died. But it's important to let our elders know what they mean beyond posting an RIP. Speaking of RIP, my mind just went to Kat, a beautiful sister who recently just passed. She had cancer like me, and that makes me sad because we were both in chemotherapy at the same time, encouraging each other. I'll never forget her, but her spirit lives. In fact, I've heard her voice. I love my ancestors. They guide me and love me. I pour libations to honor them. They're part of my creation. I think that's all I gotta say today. I'm about to take a nap because fatigue is kicking my ass. <laughs>
<laughs> I need to go to sleep, but I had something to say. Thank you for listening to my thoughts today. I pray that you are blessed, that even if your life is a mess, you notice the positive and focus your mind on that because what you resist persists. And baby, that's a fact. Where your mind goes can determine your life. Keep your head positive and open up your eyes. It's morning, but to you, I say good night. Freestyling poetry feels like flight. I'm so glad I started this. I'm grateful to be an artist. I'm grateful for every person who took the time to listen. Stay well and enjoy your position above ground. And for that, it's a blessing because the opposite could be really stressing. I thank God for your life as well as mine. I'll holla at y'all next time. Peace.